Well, now we're all being told to reduce pollution to save the planet. And a coach company from Berkshire is travelling down the right path after converting its buses to run on pure plant oil. Mm, one's even been to 10 Downing Street to meet the Prime Minister. So why is the company being taxed so much for going green? Well, over to Alex Forrest. Seeing the school bus arrive should be no big deal for these pupils at Hatch Ride School in Crowthorne outside Bracknell. But this one's a little different. Instead of using diesel, this is the first school bus in the country to use pure plant oil. It means its overall carbon footprint is 80% lower than a normal bus. Mike Lawton from Regenatech at Digcot in Oxfordshire is behind the green technology, which uses a conventional diesel engine to heat the oilseed rape. If you take some butter from the fridge and you make it warm, it becomes very, very runny. Oil gets very runny when you get it hot. So what we're trying to do is get this oil very, very warm so it runs very easily, so it becomes very runny like water. And then that looks like diesel fuel to the engine. Plant oil is better than the diesel because um, it's, it helps the environment and the atmosphere. I think it's actually um, very environmentally healthy, so it um, will help the earth a bit more better than what the diesel will. I think it's amazing because it, it helps the earth resource all the all the, its damage of diesel, like damaging the earth. Well, the children obviously understand how it works, but I had to have it explained to me. So this is the oil seed rape. It's crushed to produce the very thick oil, which is what the bus runs off. They use a tiny bit of diesel when the bus is first started to heat it so it's usable. And anything that's left over from the oil seed rape is turned into animal food. So here's a little bit here. And actually, it's not bad. At its depot in Bracknell, Courtney Coaches now has 12 buses running. At its depot in Bracknell, Courtney Coaches now has 12 buses running on pure plant oil. By the end of the year, the company's hoping to convert all 50. It makes us extremely happy for what we're doing for the environment, as I say, and uh, we're able to pass it on to people. Uh, let's hope it continues. But ironically, despite all the government's green promises and a trip to number 10, being environmentally friendly comes at a price, and that's down to the high duty on biofuels. At the moment, it's costing Courtney coaches a lot more money to actually run buses like this. We should be encouraging people to run the buses like this and cut their emissions by 80%. This could change on Wednesday when the Chancellor announces his budget. Everyone involved in this project hopes so, because no one wants to put the brakes on now. Alex Forrest in Crowthorne for Thames Valley tonight. Good idea.